Of all the plants that I'm ever asked about for bees and beneficial insects, perhaps the most, well, what can we say? The most attractive to bees is the most unusual. You wouldn't really expect it. This is Eryngium, Eryngium giganticum, silver ghost. It's a prickly bastard. <coughs> Oi, shut up. Anyway, if you look closely at it, in the evening light, it's absolutely astounding. It really does look like a ghost. But as far as bees are concerned, well, they just love it. If the camera is shaking, it's because somebody's sticking a stick up my backside. And it's most unpleasant. And I wish they would stop. Go away. You can see it's just alive with bees. It's a wonderful thing. And in the landscape of the garden, if you draw back, it's beautiful. This is my home garden, actually. You'll see that the Eryngium is everywhere. Because there's a beekeeper. Eryngium, Eupatorium, Sedums are just magnificent. The garden here goes on and on and on. However, I try and keep that private. It's the most dramatic this time of the year and is also a hive of industry for bees is the Rosa, Kiftsgate. It's not truly Kiftsgate. It's actually a seedling that I grew. There we are. Eryngium giganticum. I would call it the best bee plant there is outside of Eupatorium.